let's connect to the robot. This does take a little bit of time because it has to go through and find the Bluetooth device, but it is slightly quicker on Android. Now it just went right because it was built up in the queue already, but now it won't do any more stuff like that. Only what I run. I'm just going to go left to put it straight. Then let's give it a few commands. So forwards twice, let's say. Then left and then forwards again. Then let's do a spin. And that's a good sequence. So you'll see it'll go do that when I click run. Now I'll explain the app in more detail. This is the Windows version of the app. On the main page, we have four arrows and a spin button. Now these allow you to add commands to a queue up here, which can be modified by deleting one at a time or all of them at once and restarting. Once you have a set of commands, you can click run and the robot will go and do those. Let's look at the settings. You can adjust the speed. So that's how fast it goes for forwards and backwards movement. So it's a simple slider like this. We should just around 40 because that's still fast enough, but not too fast. Then the distance it goes for each forward and backwards movement. Then there's the trim. That just makes sure that it goes straight only for forwards and backwards movement. Then there's turning trim. That controls how much it turns for each time you click it. So ideally you want this at 90 degrees and that just allows the user to set it correctly and calibrate it. And these two settings are really for fine tuning and good robot performance. It allows the robot to go in a perfect straight line or to turn perfectly 90 degrees. Then the last one is just whether you want the light on or off. There's also info that explains all this stuff to the user. And those info pages are built into the app, which makes it quite user friendly.